Last week we left you as we began to repair a hole in the chain locker. And this week we are going to show you that and how the heck we got our welder up onto the boat. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. I am making a temporary support thingy. <laughs> For what? <laughs> for the uh we're gonna put this track with a roller in it up there uh supported on some uh two by six and it's gonna have a like a little trolley car thing and then we're gonna put this winch power winch on there and we're gonna be able to winch our welder up and drop it on the deck of the boat or put it inside the boat, I guess. Depending on the project, maybe? Depending on the project. Because um, we need to do some welding inside. Yeah. So we're building a winch system to get the welder. The welder up there. Because the welder is a couple hundred pounds. And we don't have anything that can lift that high right now. It's actually so cold my hands hurt. <laughs> mm, starting to sound like me, Logan. Well, I hope not. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> has just put in a piece of square tubing which is what we're going to attach those wheel carts to so the winch can move along the track. So I drilled a couple of holes in it. This is going to be inside the tube. This bolt will be running through the cart. Okay. Come up and in through here. What's the purpose of having the two washers on it like that? This one's a big flat one and this one's a lock washer. So this one's going to keep it because I, I couldn't find the um i couldn't get lock nuts this size okay so this is like the closest you yeah. to lock nuts so like you see how easy it turns yeah but as soon as it gets some pressure on it because of the way that the split is yeah these edges are sharp yeah and they'll dig in and stop it from turning. and stop it from turning that's the theory okay sweet I think I'll put some Loctite on that too. Hopefully that slides into that rail. We put the track across a few 2x4s that were placed across a few rafters for strength. And then it was time to put the winch on. Thank you. 
So what are you doing right now, Logie? I am just testing this out. Test lifting a starter because it weighs less than a Should be able to swing it, yeah. Yeah. Close enough. It's just because these can't go back anymore. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's not too bad. Now you can. The next day we decided to lift the plasma cutter up onto the boat. This was when and how we cut out that bit of bulkhead that you saw in the last week's video. There we go. That way we can open the hatch and reach out here. Do the thing. Grab the stuff from the hoozy onesie. Yeah, and that should more than reach everywhere we need it to go because we got 25 feet. Sweet. Different story for the welder, but I think we're gonna end up cutting out a piece out of here and we'll just reach the stinger in from here. Okay. And down and under. Because this one here is... Somebody's laid a couple of beads of weld on here. Yeah. Oh, and it's yeah. burnt the paint off on the other side. I don't know. I think there was a box welded in here at one point. Well, we're going to lift the welder up to the boat and see if we need to cut more holes in it to get the stinger inside. Oh yay. Um, because we only have, whatever this is, 10 foot whip. So I think it's gonna be too short to go from the hatch berth up to the bow section where we need to weld inside. Right, because we got to go inside with it. Uh, yeah. So that's it. We just got to get the welder up there and then hook up the fans and the vacuum and... Luckily it turned out that the stinger was long enough and we didn't have to cut out a hole. We used a combination of lifting straps and shackles to make a harness for lifting both the welder and the plasma cutter.
We were having issues with our wire getting stuck in the liner as it was fed through, so this is a trick we use to save the liner. First, rolling it up and smacking it a bit to loosen up any rust or bits of debris. And then blowing the liner out with air to get rid of said debris. What are you doing? Well, because of the humidity, our wire's gotten some surface rust on it. And it, like the rust all flakes off. I don't know if you can see here. No, I can't. It's too dark. I think so. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so this is rust, like, that's just coming off of the spool, like getting scraped off of the wire, but this powder, like this rust powder, yeah. gets into the liner in the MIG gun and jams it up, and then we get inconsistent welds, or it just won't spool the wire through, so... We've done some YouTubing. Or I've done some YouTubing and found out that if you run it through the Scotch Bright, um, it takes off the that little bit of rust and allows you to weld for a while, and then eventually, once it starts to jam up, you got to take the liner out, bang it out, blow it out, clean it. It's just. Uh, Pacific Northwest. That's how we have to do it. <laughs> Alright, so this is our setup right now. We've got this fan. We've got a vacuum to suck all the argon gas out from the welder, which is right here. And the welder has the big gas mix on the back of it. So the reason that we have the vacuum to suck the argon gas out is because argon gas is heavier than air and we don't want a bunch of argon gas sitting in the bilge. Now argon gas is not explosive so it's not really a danger that way but the other issue is that if the boat fills with argon gas then there won't be oxygen and you can actually have an issue with Logan suffocating while he's in there because he doesn't get enough oxygen. So, that's why we have this guy. Going all the way down into the V-berth. The first welding job was to fix that hole from the venting pipe that we found in the chain locker. This is also when Logan started to repair the inner hull corrosion issues, but we will get to more of that later as we get closer to completing the project. Logan first welded the underside of the new plate. Then he ground out the welds from the top to ensure a solid weld with deep penetration before doing the welds on the top side. And then we had a watertight sole on our chain locker again. Next week we start to replace the ribs and hull plate that we just cut out. Thanks so much for joining us and coming along on this crazy ride. We really appreciate it.